This is Katie and Magdalena with our hymn devotion for the week. Today we are going to look at the hymn, God Whose Love is Reigning Over Us, hymn number 100. I found out that this hymn was actually written for the author's daughter's wedding, uh, which seemed particularly appropriate during the summertime when we have a lot of, of weddings going on. But also, um, during this time of isolation, I don't know about you, but there are a few things that have been more important than family and staying together as a family and supporting each other as a family. So though love is going to be a major theme in today's message and in this hymn, you can also listen as we go through the different stanzas for uh words about family and um, God's family and the bond that we have in love as our own family and as God's family. Both our hymn and our scripture reading bring up a really important theme that I would like to talk about concerning the Christian life. Often when we think about living as Christians, we think about what we do for God or what we do for each other, our good works directed at others or our good works directed at God. But both this hymn and our reading from Ephesians 2 really highlight that we need to think about the order of the Christian life a little bit differently. Um, everything that we do, whether it be uh, acts of mercy, acts of love, all of which stem from faith, all of those things are given to us to do by God. And even our faith is a gift from God. Our reading from Ephesians makes it really clear that in ourselves, there is nothing good. We are dead in our trespasses and sin. But God in his love um, gives us all things most importantly, he gives us his son, Jesus, who came into the world to die for our sins. And then God also gives us the gifts of grace and faith through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit delivers the good work that Jesus accomplished to us. And then beyond that, we are already given this wonderful gift of being made right with God. Then God also gives us the gift of good works to do. So at the end of our reading for Ephesians, Paul writes, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So it's a really beautiful picture of how little we can do by ourselves, but how much God is doing through us. God is the source of all of these good gifts. And in the same way, when we talk about love, we're often tempted to talk about our love or our community's love or our church's love. And those all, things are important, but the direction really needs to be God's love through us. God gives us the gift of love. It's only through him that we can show love to others. So I thought that this hymn really did a nice job of highlighting that God is the source of all love. Let's take a look at stanza one. Right off of the bat, we hear God whose love is reigning o'er us, source of all, the ending true. And as the stanza continues to talk about singing and worship, all of that is listed after acknowledging that it is God who is the source of both love and worship. 
stanza two highlights that creation, which we are often tempted, especially during this beautiful time of year, we're often tempted to view worship as a means unto itself, as having some inherent power apart from God. But it's actually the word of God that created nature and that speaks through nature, that nature reveals things about God to us because his word rules over everything. So we can see that really beautifully pictured here in stanza two. We are not going to sing stanzas three and four in worship, but I wanted to touch on those as well. They both really call to mind this idea of family and of God working through his chosen people, the family of Israel, um, throughout history. Even though this family plays a really important part in our Christian story, they didn't come up with this all on their own. It was God that chose them. So we see in stanza three that the hymn, remi hymn writer reminds us that Abraham and Sarah were chosen by God to be one of the first people in this family, the family of Israel. And then in stanza four, the story of God's people continues with Jesus. His ministry is the source of so much of our Christian life and faith through his merciful acts of healing and teaching. People were called to faith and it's those teachings and that love that he showed that we, we live in today as Christians. Then finally, we end our singing of this hymn on Sunday with stanza five. Again, reminding us that our worship and our song, even if we're just singing at home, all stems from faith, which, as our reading from Ephesians reminds us, is a gift of God. From verse 8, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. So Magdalena and I hope you enjoy singing this hymn on Sunday. Um, we pray that your families as well are blessed by the love of God and the love that he gives us to show each other God's peace.